Welcome to the Hey Sister Podcast. I'm Tabby. And I'm Rachel. And you can find us on Instagram and Ravelry as Awesome Socks. And Hey Rachel Makes. And um, yeah, we have our yarn dyeing website. Hey Sister Yarn Co. There we go. Our shop. Hey Sister Yarn Co. Dot com. And yeah, we have a Ravelry group on Ravelry. <laughs> okay. The Hey Sister Podcast group, I believe, right? On Ravelry. Yeah. yeah. So the show notes for this will be on there and also down below the video. Yeah, if you have um, questions about something that we talk about, we usually have links to everything down in the description. Rachel does that. So today is Sunday, May 20th. 20th. Yes. My middle child, it's weird, turned seven yesterday and it was, she's just getting so big, it's crazy. But yeah, she is. It's you wouldn't believe how many comments I got saying how much she looks like you. Oh my <laughs> she word. She looks just like Rachel. I saw a picture of myself the other day and I was like, oh my word, Zoe. I kind of look like Zoe. <laughs> like, which so... I didn't used to really think she'd look like me that much, but I think, I don't know, maybe it's the way her face is or shaped or I something. I think it's a lot to do with our hair length. right now. Yeah. Your hair is like curly and blonde. Hers isn't super curly anymore. No. It used to be it. super curly, yeah. Yeah. No curly Zoe. She's a big girl. Okay, so lots going on. In our yeah. lives, right? We've been busy dyeing yarn. We've been having tons of fun. Yeah. Our, we're kind of getting into the rhythm of life at the dye studio and um, getting down there. It still takes forever to get down there. We need to get a fridge. A fridge. And that would be a big help. A fridge and a microwave, that would be great. And yeah. then it would be a lot easier to and, get down there. <laughs> and internet. And internet. We need the internet. Anyway, so sorry. We've just been discussing what would make our lives <laughs> a little easier. But so, yeah. But we've been doing that. Um, lots of um, you can see we have lots of fun yarn. We have another shop update it's this week, a ready to ship update, which we'll talk about more in shop. But yeah, we're excited we about that. Um, and yeah. then um, any other administrative? Um, we do want to say thank you for all that have subscribed. We did hit nine yes, thousand nine thousand subscribers. Thanks Drew's everybody. Excited. And I think we're planning a pretty big um, giveaway when we hit ten thousand. So yes, um, yeah, we're excited um, about that. Okay. So there's that. What yeah. else? Um, we have some knitting to show, not a ton this week, because we've been quite busy. And but... we're both um, doing test knits, too, so, yeah. um, that we can't show. And that's what most of our work has gone on to. So. Yeah. Um, and I have a little sewing. We do too, right? Um, yes. So we have a little sewing, which has been great. It's the first time in a couple months I've sewn. So that was... What are you wearing today? I am wearing my Blackwoods cardigan, which is one of my most favorite patterns and makes. I wear my Blackwoods cardigan all Seriously, the time. Seriously, I have I have three of them, and I wear them all the time. I have two, but they're both blue, so I need to make a few different colors. You do? I what? have plenty of fabric for it. I can't find my black one. I know it's somewhere. I just can't find it. Anyway. I have fabric for a green one. I have a fabric for one just like that. It just it literally is a perfect thing to go with anything. If you're casual or even like a little dressy, it's yeah. And if you make it with like a lighter fabric like this, it's you can wear it all summer long and not yeah. be uncomfortable. I'm not warm at all. Or hot. Yeah, I'm that's nice. Comfortable. <laughs> Freezing around over here. <laughs> not warm at all. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm good with the, the cold air. So, um, I am wearing a Moneta um, dress. Just the top part of it. I don't know if you can see, but it's just a top. But um, I really like this. I, I liked how the Moneta bodice fit me. And so I just made one without a bottom. <laughs> that's like a cropped <laughs> yeah, shirt. It's just like a thing. cropped. It's so cute. I like I it with pencil skirts like this on the bottom. Too, it's this so. really random... Like edging that I got at a uh, Hobby Lobby. So cute. I think. Yeah, it looks so cute with pencil skirts. I love that. Yeah. So there's that. Um, that's all I'm wearing that I made today. Yeah. So it's it is me made May, and we've been having fun with that. If you follow our Instagrams, uh, yeah, we're probably annoying. <laughs> I know. Probably so. I'm getting a little. I think I'm just getting tired of like posting pictures. Like or, I, I, I do them on my stories, but yeah, I do. Um, so they just keep getting weirder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought it was cute. <laughs> Anyway, the boys keep making fun of us because of, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's a lot of rambling already. Man. Okay, so. Into the knitting. Into the knitting. Woohoo. Any finished objects? Nope. You? No, but I have a half object, so I'm going to go ahead and show that. I'm super excited to finally be done with this, you guys. This is ridiculous. Um, they don't even have a second So, big yet. news. Hey, um, the waiting for Henry kits. Wow. Hey, Henry kids. Hey, Henry kids. <laughs> what in the world? The Waiting for Henry socks. Um, I just put the pattern up last night on Ravelry. And thank you guys so much for your excitement about this pattern. Um, it was already exciting to me because, you know, my baby was coming and it 
that's when I came up with it. But then like when everybody else got excited about it, that made me really excited. <laughs> thank you to everyone who's purchased that pattern already. Um, um, thank you all, all of my testers. Uh, you guys made beautiful socks. I love all your color choices. I feel like I'm like comments out on every single one. Oh my word, your colors are so amazing because it it's is so fun. It looks so good in all, all the colors I've seen too. Like every one is beautiful. So it's so much fun to just play with color and you don't need like a I feel ton like of it's it. Like, like the fun of a zwag in like this little tiny project yeah <laughs> like picking the colors and for stuff. sure or like the tecumseh or something yes exactly because it's a great way to try that because i'm ni i'm knitting well i'll show you in, in projects but yeah but. it is a good way to test for a tecumseh because it's three colors and you can see how they play together but um anyway yeah that pattern is up on ravelry and if you buy the waiting for henry sock pattern um you can get any of my my older designs um there's just three other sock patterns, but you can get those um, for 50% off. So that's cool. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm so excited to have it out because I've been waiting so long to have these it socks It is out. a beautiful but, yeah. sock pattern. Um, I've shown this several times, but it's Madeline Tosh. Um, the contrast colors are Madeline Tosh um, Void in her Euro sock base. And this is Liquid Gold Optic, the orangey bronzy color. And then the base color is Knox Yarn Co. in Flicker, which is just a gorgeous colorway. I want a whole sweater out of it. <laughs> Do I say that every time? Yeah, but I I'm think sorry. we all love it, so it's okay. I'm sorry. Okay, but yeah, I there's one sock down, and if it's beautifully, I would put it on it and show you, but that would be awkward. So. <laughs> and almost involved. It looks so cool on a foot, though. It looks like kind of like wonky like this, but it's really cool. Oh, well. I can't wait to get mine done. <laughs> So yay, half object. Ooh, well, I think we should just go into our other yellow primary socks. So I'll show mine. And, and we can talk use. about the cow too. Mine is, yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk about the cow? No. Okay. Good. I mean, eventually. Okay, this looks a little <laughs> weird right now because... <laughs> Why are you doing it on that? I'm not. I was, Oh, I remember now. <laughs> okay, I'm doing them on my 9-inch circular chagus, but I did want to try it on because... I, um, my color work is a little tight. I can get this on. I might actually redo it. Um, we'll if, see. If you do redo it, will you go up a needle size or just will you increase to the next size? The I think I will increase because, again, I don't know. I think the color work looks nice. It looks okay. But, um, it's not super tight. It just, it pulls a little bit when I have it on my foot. So I might just redo it. Um, yeah, we'll see. So the main color is our, um, Hey Sister Yarn Co. Leaf on the Wind. And then the gold is Halcyon. Uh, it's one of our new tonals. And the other one is Sepia. That's also another one of our tonals. Okay. So I do, um, yeah, I love this. And the colors are knitting up so nice with our Leaf on the Wind. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so this is my Waiting for sock. I'm just starting the ribbing. Um, I'm going to try it on another time before I decide if I'm going to redo the color work, which I think... Um, she did say in her pattern that you could go up a needle size, but I didn't. I, I'm not a color work pro here, so... Neither of us are, sadly. Um, we'll see. I'm not really sure what to do about that. But I may just increase my stitches, um, like do an extra repeat or something. I don't know. We'll see. You could just increase, because you did the size where you don't need to increase to get to a 5, right? Right. So Because I could did just the 60-inch sock, which is usually what fits me the best. And then go up to a 65. Or 60-stitch sock. Not inch. That would be 60-inch <laughs> socks fit her so well. <laughs> so well. <laughs> 60 inches is, like, really wide fabric. <laughs> as tall as me. Almost. Okay. okay, sorry. I'm not really making fun of you. It's okay. We have, time, have problems talking sometimes, so. Okay. Uh, my uh, other whip that I can show is mm. another waiting for Henry sock. And this is from my mom for Mother's Day. <laughs> um, she knew it was going to be late when I started. So, <laughs> okay. This is um, our yarn. Okay. So this is my second waiting for Henry sock. And um, this is just my favorite, I think. Oh, it's my favorite too. I've been dying to, Which is to why knit up this combo. I'm knitting a sweater in this combo here. <laughs> and... Yeah, I love it so much. I'll get up closer and show the colors. Okay, so the black is our um, noir color. It's one of our new tonals. And the um, lighter color is shell. And the darker color is sepia. And I really, really like this combination. 
<laughs> I think it's so funny when we have to narrate each other. It's because if we stand in front of our microphone, which is right here, then you can't hear us very so well. So hopefully this is, like, not insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is maybe my new favorite color ever, the noir. Oh my word, it's so perfect. Rachel's knitting a sweater out of it now, and I want to knit as wide out of it. It's so awesome. Anyway, I am excited to make... This one's a size medium, and I feel like my color work got even better on this one. I don't know... I, don't I feel know like why. just the more I pra like I just need more practice, I think. But okay, so um, for the waiting for Henry socks, we are gonna have a knit along for that, and we're super, super excited to see all the different combinations that people come up with. It's yeah. one of my favorites um, about patterns like this. Anyway, um, we're gonna start that knit along today, um, whenever this goes up, and it'll go through the end of July. That's when we're gonna cut it off. And that's good. Maybe it'll make me like work on those more like not that I feel like once I get past the color work I'll slow that's down that's like the super fun part yeah. yes I agree it but is hard maybe it'll make me finish them because just because I'm not in a big sock cake right now but the I color really work is so socks. much fun I want to have them ready like and waiting for me when fall comes in yeah yeah we're gonna have that go to the end of July and um whips are included um so I, I feel always feel bad for like my pattern testers before we do a knit along and they're like you're done now we'll start a knit along <laughs> so yeah um works in progress count and um, the prize for the knit along, um, we may have more prizes eventually, but um, yeah, the winner gets to pick uh, two skeins of their choice from our shop and we will send it. Yes, whatever base, whatever colorway you want, we will dye it up and we will send it to you. So yeah, and That's thank great. you to everybody who bought the Waiting for Henry kits that yes. we put up on our shop. That was super fun. And we've been having a lot of fun dyeing them up in the minis. It's like, it's almost like candy when you have a bunch the of mini skeins. I don't, like, it is, it is super fun. It's really <laughs> fun. Um, okay. So, okay, so I will show my um, Tegna. It is not a finished object, which I really wanted it to be, but um, I had to start working on my <laughs> test knit, so it didn't get much love this week. But I did, after um, a little bit of just working on what I was supposed to be knitting, I was like, all right, now I'm working on fun stuff, so <laughs> even I'm a rebel. Why is it that, like, okay, we both really want the things we're working on. Yeah. But it's, it's just, just like, like having to knit something to a deadline. It's like gift knitting. <laughs> <laughs> gift knitting. <laughs> anyway, it's not that bad. But um, this is my Tegna. Um, yeah, I am loving it. This is out of Quince & Co. Um, Turn, which has silk in it. And it is in the terracotta colorway. I just split for the sleeves. That's... I literally haven't knit at all since then, so I'm sorry. I okay. like poked you. So I'm really, I'm really happy with that length. I think it's going to be good. Um, yeah. So we'll see once I get my like build the top part in my sleeves. So I think I'm going to go up. I'm doing the size medium, maybe. Or the <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's very weird. Okay. Um, I think I'm doing the size. I'm doing whichever size is like a 43 inch bust, I believe. So I'm. I didn't really say that much ease. Yep. Um, I feel like a lot of people look like they don't have as much as they call for. But I'm doing the medium, so not the extra small or the small. Did you get gauge? I don't know. No. I usually I never like do a swatch, but I, I usually measure. No, I don't think this is to gauge. Actually, I think it is maybe a little tighter. Um, okay. Because I was gonna be okay with that, I thought. So I'm hoping. I will be, <laughs> but um, it. because it says you could use anywhere from like a three to a seven and, and I'm doing them on four, five, four, fours. So I think maybe. All right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm it's doing so pretty and I'm chuggoos, but, and it's, did you see the yarn you did? Yep, I did. And I really, really like it. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm, I'm alive with. still. All right. I'm going to put it away <laughs> before someone loses an eye. But yeah, I love this, and um, I didn't get much progress on it, but I'm done with, like, the main part of the body, so hopefully, I, I really want to have it finished before May yeah, And I feel like done. people knit those so quickly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, <laughs> man. Like a week. Bethany, you're amazing. You're Seriously, amazing. we're like, look at her. She has so much. She has a little baby, yeah. and she has a yarn dyeing company, and she knits so many things. <laughs> We're talking about Bethany of the Wolf 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 Berry Fiber, Fiber Company. Company. She is amazing, guys. I yeah. can't believe she's, she's only, our hero. She's just turned twenty five, you guys. <laughs> she's going at twenty five. That's crazy, and she's just amazing. So yeah, we love you, Bethany. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, so I have one more work in progress, maybe. Okay, I, I did, have one more too. So go ahead. I did 
Okay, both of my sweaters I'm just going to show real quickly because yeah. I knit probably three to five rows on each one, which is pathetic. But I feel like if I show them, it will make me work on them more. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to talk about these a lot because I have already done that in the past. I'm just going to tell you, tell you that I'm going to beat you with finishing your, your, your sweater. <laughs> and you'll be like, you'll have it done by tomorrow. <laughs> way too, too competitive you guys. I'm not competitive at all. She took it all before I, I was born apparently. She like, she tortures me with it though because she knows that I'm insane. It so does. she's like, it's, oh, I'm going to beat you or that person's beating you. And then I'll be like, and I'm like, it feels like a competition. I'm like, ah, they can win. But if it's not, I'll be like, I just, anyway, I'm not motivated like that. I don't know why I am. It's not like I want to be, but anyways, this is my Tecumseh, you guys, and I love it so much. They can probably see it well from there. Oh, my word. It's so, so beautiful. I'm going to say that this is Madeline Tosh um, Modern Fair Isle. And these are all... Well, no, no, they're not all. This is her 801010. Um, it's a cashmere. DK, though, right? DK, yeah, it's a DK. And it's a cashmere nylon blend. Merino. Wow. Okay. So today is one of those days I don't speak right. So, great. This really pale peachy pink color is her pink clay optic um and this is liquid gold um liquid gold particle series do i say that right most of the time no you said um optic, optic it's but... not optic li li liquid gold particle series or something like that anyway um maybe it is optic it's okay they'll pay if they okay. if they fill yeah. for it. sorry Okay, so yeah, that's what that is. And both this one, both my contrast colors are in her Euro sock base, but I'm holding them double. And it's, which is I mean, it looks, fingering. Wait, it looks great. Yeah, it's fingering. It's a light-ish fingering. It's like our 7525. And we also have a 100% um, merino base that we've been testing out, but it looks, I, I'm going to ask about that in the yarn dyeing section. What do dyers do when they look exactly the same? Yeah. None of our bases look the same right now, but this... 100% merino looks just like our Alan Z. So, yeah. What to do? Okay. Okay. But yeah, I love it so much, guys, and it's so beautiful. I'm just going to make a little I want to make a little progress on. It. I literally knit, I think, 3 or 4. It's rows. so fun. I'm I I just started my Tecumseh and I can oh, it here, is... go ahead and show your other one. Oh no, it's okay. okay. Go ahead. Oh, it is super fun. Yeah, show yours. Your okay. Tecumseh. So, um, and we'll hold them up together. I'm gonna I was sad like... because I didn't I didn't know what I wanted to knit my tums out of. I really wanted one ever since it came out. And then um, those were very similar colors to what I had in mind. And, of course, I mean, we always try not to do exactly the same thing because... But we have very similar tastes so, in a lot of things. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just... I mean, I had I had no yarn or anything. So I did finally decide on mine. And it is the same kit that she's knitting my our mom's socks out of, her Waiting for Henry socks. It's so pretty. <sighs> okay. So I hope you can see. I'm sure you you can see it. Okay. So, um, hold it back here. Or maybe hold it on you. On me. Well, it's like nothing compared to yours. They'll be able to see it. Oh, it just it looks it looks bigger than that when you're not. Oh, it's so pretty with your blonde hair. Uh -huh. Spread it a little right there at the bottom. Here, but um, don't pull it off. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. Sorry, it's on a pretty small needle or cord, but I'm doing this on my high highs. But oh, so pretty. I do love it. So this is our again. This is our noir colorway and our shell and our sepia now this sepia turned out a little light i'm thinking because it's 115 grams maybe oh this was the first time okay. we are trying our new dk base we're super excited about it i love it so that it's makes sense amazing though. it's 115 grams so uh, our sepia our the sepia color turned out a little lighter this was the first time dyeing it on this base so and also we just got a new batch of that dye so. yeah so i'm thinking i I haven't decided. Maybe I just, I don't know. She may take that color out. It's only, what, five rows? Six rows? Seven. Hmm. I might I might take it out. It looks it's fine. It's not a big deal. But it, it's really it's pretty. Not, it's just not really representative. It's not though. quite as tonal oh. and not quite as dark um, as ours. I don't know. I can't see anything. So, But I love this so much. I cannot wait. Oh, okay. It's because it's all clumped together. I'm like... Your color goes, like, I'm like, there's, like, a line between them. But, yeah, you have that, too. I just okay. couldn't see it. Sorry. <laughs> it's really confusing on the chart because um, mine's reverse. So her her black stitches or my white stitches are lighter stitches. I bet that is difficult. So, anyway. It's so pretty, though, and it's so squishy. It feels so much like this. 
but this is. I know. I always, I thought it felt like yours a little bit. Is he, do you, do you have the same thing? No. Mm-hmm. I feel like my, I think that'll block out. What? The bottom. The, this like wavy part right here? No, the bottom part is shorter than the top part. Like Wait, it's, what? Like look at my stitch, look at my crosses. It's not. If they're the same amount of stitches, it just starts. That's crazy. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just the way like I did it should block out fine. Well, it looks fine when you do yeah. that. Yeah. So sorry. <sighs> okay. I love it though, and it's been a really fun knit. So I did do a tubular cast on, and me too. Yeah. Your neck doesn't look as really small as mine. <laughs> I did the neck size up that you did, but I also I'm I'm happy with it. I want it to be a white up. Not like super wide. I feel like but mine I don't want it to be super tight. I um, I inadvertently did it too tight, and then I was just too excited, and I didn't. Go, I should. I think taken you'll be okay. Out. I hate when things are like me too, right up in my neck. Anyway, mm-hmm. love it. That's my other work. Mark. So, uh, yeah, I worked a little bit on my other thing. Cast on two new projects. Let's see fun. the cakes. Oh yeah, our yarn. Seen cake yet. It, they're nice, huge cakes. Sorry, they're a little messed up now. Mm. They, why isn't that? So that pretty. is what sepia looks it's like. It though. is. It is just so, usually a little darker than that. So this, these are the colors. Here, let me put the black in the middle. I feel like you can see the contrast better there. True. Maybe not. Anyway, they're I so pretty. I really like this base. We're definitely gonna start carrying love that. Love the base. It's so squishy. And shell, um, this color in a lot of pictures it looks just natural, but it's not. It's a very light pinky tan tan color. Um, I like it so much better than just knitting with. White yarn for White sure. Yarn, yeah. I just feel like that kind of looks cheap. I don't know why. Just in some bases, I feel like. But yeah, yeah. that's true. Just in some bases. Like I don't like our snug worsted plain white. Mm, no. Which anyway. Although I'm knitting a blanket out of it. That's true. It doesn't look like that in there. It doesn't look like that in my blanket. Maybe no. because it's garter stitch. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I feel like we need to have a rule not to talk to each other. <laughs> but that's probably what people like. So. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's hard. It is hard. Okay, my necklace is so wonky. Okay, um, do I have anything else I can show? Oh, I'll show my swag real quick because I knit. I shouldn't even show it because I only sh- I only knit th- four rows of lace. It's beautiful though. But we, I'm gonna show this because we're gonna sell both of these yarns in a total update. Yeah, soon, we're gonna so. have a sweater um, quantity type. Yeah, update. Okay. Um, yeah, it's so pretty. It's beautiful. Oh my word. I love it. I love it so much. I, I cannot wait to have this sweater. <laughs> you wouldn't know it by how much I've done, but, um, okay. Yeah. So the gray is, um, and this is actually, I put on our, on Ravelry that it was our Allen Z base, but it's not, it's actually the hundred percent Merino that we're trying out. And I really like it. I feel like it's almost squishier than our Allen Z feel. Oh, I really like it. Though. It feels really nice. I love how um, this lace section looks with with the gray. This yeah. is on our Allen Z base, the perfectly pink, but the the gray, the favorite tea colorway, is um, on my hundred percent right now. Anyway, mm, I love it. I love it too, and I really can't wait to have this. I feel like I'm gonna get We're gonna so look much so cool in our like coordinating matching sweaters. sweaters. We should always wear them at the always. same time. So funny, but yeah. Back when we used to buy our clothes at stores, <laughs> we uh, would always have to buy the same thing. So, literally, we have a lot of matching clothes. But um, now we just make now the we same can things. make the same things in different colors. <laughs> Although I'm literally gonna make this exact black woods cardigan. No. One day. Oh yeah, you are. You are <laughs> the same fabric. <laughs> but okay, and but then uh, you're you have that ribbed black one. I'm making a green one out of so the same fabric. Different. <laughs> okay. And anyway, just, we we also made the same. Um, shirts this week, so we do those and so sure, we <laughs> Ogden Kim. Okay, so um, that's all my knitting. Is that yeah, all your knitting? Me too. So we go to sewing now for sewing. Yeah, I got this pattern before I got pregnant with Henry. So, but then I got pregnant with Henry and did not make it. Oh yeah, because they came with your like indie sew bundle. Mm-hmm. Didn't I it? got my Hampton Jean jacket and my Mintu top, that's which so I cool. did make both of those. Yes, already, you did. So. That's cool. I made all three. That that's Woo-hoo. awesome. Yep. I just got it because I've been planning on making, I just, I tend to not buy, I try not to buy patterns until I'm ready to make them because a lot of times I find I change my mind. But I mean, obviously something like this, which is the Ogden Cami. Oh, yeah, Are we sorry. talking about We this? didn't yeah. even show them. Yeah. Yet. Ogden Camis, yes. Okay. Everyone has made this because it's amazing and you don't need it's a ton so of fabric. Easy, you guys. And they're so cute. I squeeze this out of less than a yard of fabric. Me too. Um, from my, it's like leftovers from my one of my fringe dresses. 
This is leftover from my Dove blouse, which I was wearing earlier today, and I couldn't wear it in the podcast. It was just too hot. So, um, <laughs> I'm glad I brought extra. Even the lining I got out of that. I did, I got, mine, mine was, I barely squeezed it. What size it. did you make? I made the second size. No, okay. no, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I made an eight. Sorry. You made a zero? Yeah, but that's what I was wondering, if you could still get it out of a little bit of fabric. It was just a little bit. It was leftovers. I don't know how much I had. I think it might have only been two yards. The only way um, I got it out of it, though, is I the back lining piece. I had a cut in, in half, and then I sewed it. Oh, so. you can't even tell. No. It's cool, though. But it was great because I was not going to get it out of it. And I was like, I didn't want to use a different lining because it's such a light. Like, I didn't want to. Anyway. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded so bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. <sighs> okay. So, yes. This is out of a nice, like, I think it's like a tensile chambray. It is definitely. It has to be tensile. It has to it be. It feels just like. We didn't look at the tag when we bought it. We got it's it. It's from Joanne's. So, last I want ago. some of that in white so badly. Oh my word, yeah. And then this is out of Rifle Paper Company, Rayon. I love this print. It's so beautiful. I didn't think I was going to like it in this for some reason. I was just, I don't know it's why. It's so ridiculous. I was just doing it before I cut into my other fabric, You're and crazy. I love it. I wore it to, her, to church today. Man, I cannot talk. I wore it to church today under my Hanson jean jacket, and I, I It looked it. really cute. Yeah. But it was too dark for the podcast, especially with our light broken, so. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And, yeah, I have worn it once, and I really like it. Um, yeah. It's really great. Great project. Really fun and easy to sew. I was... Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it says it's a beginner pattern, Advanced. but... It didn't say advanced pattern. Or maybe. I don't know. But mm. it, it was wasn't, easy. like, intermediate or anything. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm really glad. I feel like almost anybody could sew this. Like, if they had... If you could... Yeah. yeah. It was not difficult. No, it was really fun. I want to make, like, ten of them. And that's from True Bias. I don't know if we said that. Yeah. True Bias. Ogden Cammy Ogden. from True Bias. It's just a great layering great. piece. Great. I feel like it's going to be like my Blackwoods cardigan. Like, I'm just going to wear it all the time. I'm and gonna I wore it with I'm my Blackwoods blazer. cardigan earlier. <laughs> I'm going to make a peach blaze blazer, and yep. I think it will look awesome under there. Ew. Oh, my. Right. I'm so excited. Okay. I don't think I can pull off a blazer. It's just not my... Sure you can. Sure. If it's the right one. I actually like the one you're going to make a lot. I, so. I really do, too. Anyway, I also made a Ouch. t-shirt because I have no, like, summer clothes. This. So this is my, like, goal to is to make a lot of summer clothes this year so I made my this is actually made first but this I'm sorry it's so wrinkly I did iron it but then it's been in my bag so that was kind of pointless so oh my word okay so yeah. this is a Union Street tea by um Hey June ha Handmade let me see yeah sorry right. okay hey June Handmade um yeah and I wanted some v-necks and I was kind of hoping it would not be super low, but it's it's a it's a little too low for me. Or I would still need to wear like yeah, it is it's, it is pretty low it's, on. Um, but I made the size small, I think. But um, I'm gonna try this on later. Yeah, it all right, that happened when I was tying it one time. You just but, basted it, right? Yeah, so it's not a big deal. Um, but I, this was kind of like a practice wearable muslin kind of a thing because I have this really nice or. Tencel and organic cotton it's gonna be <laughs> from so Blackbird nice. Fabrics that I want um, some V-neck or a V-neck out of. So I practiced with this. Do you think you'll make the pattern again or will you pick a different one? I think I want to make it. I do like, I like how if it's okay, I might go down a size and then do a full bust adjustment because um, it includes okay, pattern I'm pieces sorry. for a full bust adjustment in the pattern. So you don't actually have to do a full bust adjustment. I don't know. I don't know how it works at all. I don't even, like, mm -hmm. I, I say that like I know a what full a full bust, bust adjust adjustment is, but I have no idea because I'm if lazy. The, she may have already done the full bust adjustment and just, like, told Well, you there's which. other pieces for that. So yeah. I didn't. That's cool. Yeah. So, you, so I'd have to cut out the other pieces. Mm -hmm. But, so I think that would be what she would have. Anyway. Yeah. I feel like I like this maybe better than the one I did. You should have seen. Oh, I should have brought it because it's embarrassing. I, I almost put on you Instagram and I did. <laughs> but I tried to do, I, I practiced a, a time before this and it was not wearable. It was a bad fabric. Was it this time? Yeah, it's this fabric, which is a modal something. I don't know, but it's, it's super shifty and not my favorite to sew with. But I tried to do the V-neck on that and... It was insane. Like, I don't look like, like my sewing machine ate it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which I, I think like... maybe my serger did. And that, or, like, it looks like, anyway, one side was, like, sh way shorter. Like, the V-neck, like, hit here. <laughs> it was insane. What? I don't know. Like, one was really stretched out. I don't know what happened. The next time I sewed the whole thing on my um, sewing machine and then just surged the edges. So, I think maybe I was just, like, not 
I've, I've sewn on my serger a lot. So it's not that I've never like right. sewn knit fabrics on my serger. Um, I don't know, but it was really bad and <laughs> we'll have this to. This stuff does stretch like crazy, It just goes though. to show though, like second time, I feel like this is very wearable. Like, yeah, it's it a little like, day. it doesn't look weird when I wear it. I don't think so. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah. That's that. I'm not always very like, yeah, it takes me a couple tries sometimes, but that's what muslin are for. Yeah. So I'm Thank glad you. I didn't cut into my fabric and try a v-neck for the first time. But then I watched, she did a, um, Adrian Handmade has a tutorial where she did it and I watched that, which is, I don't really know exactly what went wrong the first time because I can't really figure out what I did badly besides. Was it very late? It was very late. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I was saying. Besides it being too late at night, um, I'm not sure what happened, but that, <laughs> that happens to me. All. It's a really b- big problem. It it's is. like when you're trying to sew late at night because or even knitting sometimes. I get really I get really tired and if I'm I can't I do think things clearly. backwards sometimes yeah anyway so I did this one during the daylight <laughs> in daylight hours and it turned out much better so but yeah she has a tutorial and stuff it's not as that scary it just I don't think I don't know if anyone has ever made a v-neck that badly I she showed me the picture and I'm like I don't know what I happened couldn't figure out what yeah, I, I almost put it on Instagram, and I was like, I can't even do it, because, like, I'll show it on like, here. Really, not that it matters. I really I'm not, like, figure it out, man. It's not that I feel like I need to... Anyway. Yeah. Things don't always turn out perfectly for me the first time, so... Not me neither. Second time was much better, and I'm happy that I, I almost switched and just did a scoop neck, <laughs> but I was like, no, I will beat it. Does it does have a scoop neck, too, right? Yeah, there's a, lots of different options, so I think it's going to be a good pattern. I may tweak it a little bit. I might make an extra... The zero. S- two, double zero. Maybe. So I think... I, I'm not happy. I, I made two V-necks this week as well because we have to do the, the same things. But um, I made a different pattern and kind of, I don't know. I'm just not happy with the fit. Um, I like a very specific V-neck and... Uh, I do actually like the V-neck on that. I, I should just, just buy the $9 ones from Target. <laughs> seriously. Seriously. You can't even buy fabric for that. It like, would be super nice though to be able to make them. I don't know why. Because we feel like we have to make everything because... That's just how we are now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it just is. Like, it's hard. Like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to buy things. And then I'm like, no, because I could make it one day, maybe. Is that going to happen? Yeah. I just, the other day I bought two tank tops from Target. And I was like, yes, I bought something. <laughs> just because <make it. laughs> I was like, I'm never going to get around to making tank tops. Like, yeah, you, this we, summer. We and, rarely have time to knit that, slash yeah. sew. So we should focus on things that maybe we can't buy a target <laughs> maybe for nine dollars <laughs> anyway okay just do what we can yeah anyway so that's mm-hmm. sewing that's sewing um i don't have any stash hands i don't except for a few of my backpack supplies came in i'm, I'm not going to show them obviously but that's the only thing i, I got do have right? i didn't think about stash enhancement today um i did actually get some new stuff um and my mustache earrings is coming tomorrow so I'll get to show that next time. That's very exciting. Um, so I'll just show my stash enhancement next time, maybe. Yeah. Um, we do have a lot of yarn to show, though. Yes. So um, a bunch of shop information coming at you. Okay. Um, we talked before about how we can't really continue dying the way that we were. Um, dying. Leaf on the wind. Okay. It doesn't look the same in the skein as it used to look because of the different way of dying. But I think it should still knit up just fine. We're still tweaking it a little bit. Um, I'm going to show real quick though. You can see like, I don't know, there are speckles on the inside and the outside and it's just a little more spaced out than it was or something. What do you think? I, I don't think it's, um, I don't think it'll end up too terribly different, but, um, it looks to me like the same colorway. Obviously it's the same color speckles. It's the same colors, just done differently. Yeah, no, I think it's great. Okay. Uh, we're excited, guys. We got a um, skein twister. If you guys have seen those on Instagram, so hopefully excited. it helps us because um, when we had our pre-order update, um, I skeined... How many skeins did I do in one day? I don't know. It was a time. Because it was the like days that. I was dying, so yeah. we were skeining the whole time almost. While you were dying and re-dying the May colorway. Yeah. Yeah. And then... But my hands, like, literally have been going numb since then um, at times, and yeah. um, my wrist is, like, yeah. frozen in place Not sometimes. Good. So, yeah. Note to self. Don't skein 100 yards... 100 Just skeins. buy a skein twister. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it will help us out. Anyway, so we have Leaf on the Wind. Um, those are not for the update. <laughs> no. But, okay, so the update that's coming, when did you want to do it? I think Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday okay. at what time? 
Let's do eight. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, we have a lot of speckled, and these are kind of, um, we were playing around with a bunch of different dyes and techniques, and um, uh, some of these will become regular colorways, some of them probably won't, but um, yeah, yeah, we haven't decided which ones yet. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's a little better. We're trying to go through this to see how we want to show this, sorry. Okay, so. Um, Update Tuesday was mostly speckles. We're very excited yeah. because we've had a lot of fun dyeing. We have, and yeah, a lot of fun. Okay, so we have some really fun new colors. Um, these ones aren't named, but um, because we're still going to tweak them maybe a little bit more. We are more comfortable with our tonals than um, yeah. our speckles, which we love speckled yarns too. We're trying to get a consistent speckle, and we're getting there, definitely. Like, yeah. But, um... um We've been, we want to make sure we have them how we like them before they become a actual color. Yeah. Not so much even like them, because I like all of these a lot. Yes. They're all super fun. But we're trying to make them to where we can replicate them consistently. Yes. And some of them were like, let's try this and this and this. And we didn't really necessarily write them all down. So there's these two. Here. You want to, like, here we go. Oh, okay. You want to put them on me after you? I'll hold a pile here. So pretty. What do you want me to do? Okay. Go ahead. Show them. Okay. okay. This one we do have a name for. This one. Not this one. <laughs> okay, so this is our fun um, hardcore parkour colorway. Can you see it? I don't know. I can't tell because... I can't tell. Anyways, you can kind of see, like... Um, this yeah. was one that we tried a few different ways um, to get exactly how we wanted. So they're all slightly different, um, but there's some more, like, tonal ones and some more, like, just gray. But... There's one on this mohair base we had a sample it's of. so fun. <laughs> so it's a mohair with... It's I think not, it's merino mohair and... It's a, it is a fingering weight, so it's not a lace weight yarn, right? Yeah, it's not like a typical mohair. mohair. But it's just, it has mohair in it, but which is kind of fun, especially for it like this so crazy funny. color. I feel like that's fun. I do too. But like um, yeah, so... But yeah, hardcore parkour. We have... Oh, and we have this one. This one's super fun. Oh, this one is my favorite name. Because <laughs> we're calling this one Windbreaker. This it looks exactly like a Windbreaker we had as a kid. I'm not sure whose it was, but we had it like... I usually had Tabby's things eventually, so... I think it was mine originally. It was like the purple, the purple and the green. green. Yeah. Like Windbreaker. It was my favorite Windbreaker. Because uh, it had a really yes. awesome soft lining oh, yeah. compared to the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Okay. Good times. Oh, are we piling them on you? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. I don't know. And then show this one, and then we'll okay. do... And this one see. is also just a nice, lightly speckled skein. It's so pretty. There's a tiny bit of peach in here and some purple. I really like that one. And some pink. It's just, I love it, too. I really like this. I think this could definitely... We don't have a name for this one yet. This, this one. Oh, yeah. These are these are fr really fun. These are definitely one of a kind, um, but... Because we were over dyeing a, a, kind of like a mistake, and we were super happy with how this came out. This is so fun, though. I would, I don't know if we can replicate this, but I it's wish we could. so cool. I hope you can. If you can see the colors under there, they're they're very, like, they show up very well. We're going to have pictures also up on our website, obviously, um, and on Instagram before the update. I feel like you can't see my colors because I'm like blocking the sun. I don't know. I don't know. It's bad. Yeah. We're sorry about the gliding. Okay, but this one too, we have to show. This is definitely a new um, new colorway. And we've already got that one figured out. So. Yes, I'm so sorry. Okay. So this is the Shire because obviously. But um to us this just feels like the Shire. <laughs> Tabby's been rewatching um Lord of the Rings, so we've been talking about a little more and my we, kids are watching just, it for the first time. We, so we always love that kind of stuff. Yeah. So Yep. Ugh, I really want like a whole sweater out of it. Like seriously. I actually might make my no frill sweater oh, out of this. I will be so jealous. Base color. I probably won't do speckles oh, on it, but oh, so I could. Beautiful. It'd be so beautiful. I have to Either decide, way. guys. Tell me which one looks better. Okay, this base color or this base color? This is shell and this is Ooh. Um, a different. Because I really want a no frill sweater and more yellow or peachy. We just got mohair. Or this is not mohair. No. Yeah, this one's more pinky and this one's more yellowy peachy. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, it looks better on me. <laughs> I like these two together a lot. Oh, I was just thinking, put it, put that here. It looked so good with this sh the, the sepia. Mmm. Look how warm and like. So here's some of oh our new tonals. Word. We have a lot of new tonals, you guys. Yes. Yeah, and um, love all those together so much. So pretty. So okay, yeah. We have sepia. We have halcyon, which is the gold one. And then mm. we have these two new purples. Um, they're very similarly toned. Um, the cup pretty. Oh my word. 
Oh. Please, you just want to knit like 3,000. I know. Things. I want to knit so many things. I'm not going to have time then, to knit any of them. You guys have seen favorite tea. It's the gray. Pretty this, gray. And this is our noir base. Nice. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely like it's, it's a nice black, light gray spot. But it's got some, sure. yeah. We like how tonal it looks in, like in my both sweater, your sweater and my, my socks. Word. I'm really happy with that. Love how that knits up. This is some, you guys all, you know, drizzle, but yeah. So, um, the speckles will be in the update. Most of these tonals are for ready to, sh or for the, uh, is this the DK? Yeah, it's yeah. the long skeins. That DK, our new DK base, guys, takes yarn, I mean, takes dye so beautifully. I know. Look at the drizzle. I just didn't put enough on mine. So, yeah, that's um, most of what we have ready to ship. And um, a lot of these are for actually for waiting for Henry Kit, so they're not like yeah. shell. We just want to show you some of the colors because we're doing a um, update soon, um, probably within the next two weeks, where um, kind of sweater kits. Um, we would like your feedback, though, if you would rather have sweater kits. We might put a poll up also. Yes. Would you rather us just like show pictures of combinations we would put together and you guys can just buy whatever like just and then it would just be like a regular update so you could pick like four skeins of one and one skein of the other or two you know for like a Tecumseh or or would you rather us actually, actually put, put them the in kits the kit. in the shop yeah. yeah we were trying to decide what would be I personally am fine which is going to pick out my yarn me too but I also like kits too it's so true. I don't know so if you guys kind of like maybe a combination we could put up a bunch of pictures like on instagram or on yeah i was thinking we could do like instagram stories where we put like different kits and have the names and everything so you could screenshot it and w go over to our website if you're interested or i don't know you you let us know if you have any preference i that. want a zwag i'm gonna show you because uh, i want like 10 swags but i, I want a zwag out of you this. have to do that this one you have to do that right that yes. is so pretty Look at that. It's so perfect. This is um, Drizzle and the Shire right up there. I feel like these would make a really nice Tecumseh with I something. I love that. Anything with black? I don't know. Also, if you guys um, want, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but um, like, okay, um, Brooklyn Tweed has Hayloft, right? And um, Quince & Co. has Honey. Honey. And like, we like, we both like those colors, but I don't know. I feel like honey is a little too green. Yeah, like the tones, and then like he left doesn't look super It's almost great. a little orangey. Uh, yeah. But, um, so that's why we came up with this color. But would you guys like to see comparison photos, is what I'm saying. Like, okay. I thought in like stories or something, because if it, like, yeah. if, if I were going to buy someone's yarn, and I was like, I know what Brooklyn Tweed Hayloft looks, Hayloft like. looks like, and I know what Quince & Co. Honey looks like, wonder how that compares yeah. instead of just guessing like maybe i'll like it and then it comes and it's huh. not would, would, would that be something you'd like to see because yeah. we can do that because we have some colorways that we've basically made to fill in gaps that we can't get from other places so yeah, yeah. like that's kind of what shell is for us and yes this color like okay because i have um brooklyn tweed arbor in dagus and i have quince and co loft in petal but i I don't know. I kind of like the shell. Yeah, it's not as peachy for sure as petal, and it's definitely pinker, pinker than Vegas. So, I don't know. I don't know. Is that something that interests you? Let us know, and we can work yeah, on getting that. If you have that. any feelings about that, all right. Ooh. Mm. Okay, we have a real problem, guys, at our dye studio because we have this like really pretty little bay window. <laughs> Which, if you've seen our Instagram, and we pile our yarn on there, and we just like grab combinations all day long and we're like "Ooh, look at this rachel i need to make this out of this <laughs> it's too much fun so yeah that's all that yeah. we have for that yeah. um anything to go over i don't think so i think that's if you want to join us in the waiting for henry knit along um we would love to have you we will make the hashtag on instagram as waiting for henry cow and then we'll have a um finished object thread in the Ravelry in the group. group. And, um, do I do a yeah. chatter thread? Yeah, chatter thread. And I like to use Instagram as like the chatter thread. Yeah, like, me too. That's like, I'm, I don't use Ravelry for like chatting. groups and stuff. I just, I find it too difficult. I just like to see what people are doing on yeah. Instagram. I like to look at their projects. The Ravelry is like the most oh, my amazing word. database. Yes. I just, I'm, I'm, I've never been good at the groups thing me for neither. some reason. I've, um, I'm, I've joined a lot of groups. I have too. I just don't go to them. Me neither. And like, I don't even go to ours. I use, I, I don't either. It's really <laughs> bad. So bad. Rachel but goes there to put up the show, show notes. notes. But if you want to get a hold of us, Instagram is probably the easiest way. That's 
my social media of choice. <laughs> and I'm getting slightly better. Oh, yeah. I'm working on it. It's just trying to. I'm, I'm not super great at any. I feel like most people that are like introverted and things like that are really good at like Instagram, Instagram and social media and I'm just, I'm not good at any of them. <laughs> so I'm trying. We'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, Ravelry is wonderful for the projects and looking for patterns. Yeah. Like, I couldn't live without Ravelry. Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't know that I actually would have started knitting without it. That's where yeah. I learned most of like what's in it, what I liked, what people I did. I do, I like. seriously wish, I know everyone says this, but sewing needs a Ravelry. Okay, Indie Sew is trying, but it's just not the same thing, like. Yeah. It doesn't have, like. I like Indie Sew. Yeah. It's just not. It's not quite as easy to use, but it's great for, for a reference, too. It's just, it's you, not the same. It's I so guess nice hashtags, that, to me, are the closest thing. Yeah, me too. For, is Ravelry, just looking at hashtags of the patterns, so. Yeah. I guess that's, well, that's, that's one good thing. Yeah. It's but, definitely useful. Very, but. Um, yeah, so, okay. We showed a lot of yeah, yeah things. Hopefully this wasn't too crazy. We weren't quite... We f- I felt a little off today, I sorry. I felt really off. I felt um, like, um, well, because we, we weren't going to be able to podcast, and then we just went with it. And yeah. Sorry so. if the video quality is terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, we have no light, so. All right. But thank you for coming back and watching. Thank you for 9,000 subscribers, you Yes, guys. it's so exciting. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So thanks for joining us today, guys. Yes. And um, we're going on vacation. Yep. For I'm the going next few weeks. In, at the end of this week. I'm so excited. It's crazy. Oh, I can't wait. And I'm going the next weekend and then again the weekend after that. So <laughs> confusing. Yeah. But so we won't be podcasting for the next few weeks. But um, hopefully we'll get lots of knitting done. Oh, please. I kind of doubt it. I'm hoping in the car because yeah. we're going. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping in the car too because although. Most, I don't know. And sometimes I just, like, I, I really do enjoy road trips. Um, so sometimes, like, I just don't even think to get my knitting out. It's just, like, it's, like, really relaxing. I know. I feel like I'll sit in the car for, like, two hours and I'll be like, oh, I could be reading I could a book been, or knitting. Or I something. can't read books in the car. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. You can't. She gets oh. car sick if she does. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you were a little kid. <laughs> yeah. It just makes me feel like that again. But... <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I can knit, thankfully, as long as I'm not looking at my knitting too much. But um, oh, we I, have a few podcasts we want to talk about real quick. I um, am, you do, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, especially I don't know. white. So, go ahead. Well, um, Marina. <laughs> yes. Of I'm kind of so like, excited. I'm so excited. It's kind of, like, back, you know, like, she wasn't on Instagram for a while. Um, and her shop was down. And um, anyways. She's moving and had a baby, yeah, right? <laughs> she's so crazy. She just had a boy after four girls. I know. Because I always remember you saying how similar you two yeah. were. And, and then I think she we're had, the same age, too. It's so cool. Anyway, um, I love her. And we've always loved her yarn. Yes. And she is back now so that's awesome and she started a podcast so I'm she's, so excited. I haven't got to watch I've only it watched the first one I haven't got to the second one yet but um yeah she has two podcasts up you guys definitely should go check her out um if you haven't already I'm sure many of you have yeah but um but it's exciting and it's new I, so. I was so excited when she, she's so cute I, I was mean, so excited too when I saw on Instagram I yeah you did get some her podcast, podcast looks so like smooth and professional like she's like on a solid white background and it looks like it's oh, like nice. it looks like it's produced almost that's awesome yeah Anyway, um, yeah, so go check her out. We'll talk about more podcasts next yeah. week. We, I know we've both had some we liked, but yeah, we want to make sure because that one's just, yeah. We are very excited about that, right. so. All right. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. I feel like we had troubles with that at first. Remember, like, the first podcast? And then... We couldn't figure out which way to make things go, and then it was fine. It was so weird. I'm so sorry. It's so annoying, right? Okay. Just okay, get... literally, okay, I'm just gonna do this. Oh. Wait, I'll wait Guys, we're not sure what's going on with our... Our camera, it's like mirrored and it was never like that before, so we're having trouble. <laughs> but um, anything like works in progress. Um, count? Yeah, that's the bed. I know. It's okay. I'm just good telling that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I say so way too much. I hate it when in the podcast. Okay. Okay. That's that. <laughs> that's that. <laughs>
I'll just make S sounds. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you were like, you did so good at like playing it off, but I was just like, no, nope, I heard it. I tried it. to continue. I on. caught it. <laughs> oh, we do want to apologize too for our um, lighting. Yeah, our light that's over here. Let's look, it's over here. Okay, our light that's over there is um, not working. Stupid light. So it's kind of dark in here today. Or, It's not perfect, Sorry. but it's okay. I touched her face. <laughs> Rachel doesn't like when people touch her face. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> but yeah, it, it definitely so is so much like mom when you did that, Rachel. <laughs> like, you look just like her. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You look just like mom. It's so funny. So, oh, look at that pile. Let's pause this for a second. Um, yeah, so we, I want to show you guys, um, the new, I feel like we're like, like a talk show. Yeah. It's just, hi Tabby, how are you? <laughs> how are you, Rachel? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, Eight o'clock on Tuesday. Oh my. Mm -hmm. I, it was, I don't think it was like that before. I really don't. I didn't notice it until just now. So. Oh my. Oh my. It's okay. Your mustache. like, it's fine. It's not me. <laughs> no, but we can't restart. Nope, I'm not going to restart. Okay. If Rachel's had lipstick on her face, guys, we're really sorry. <laughs> not really surprised, but sorry. Okay, well, it's not her fault, it's Jules's fault. She, she was, was like smearing my face. <laughs> That's all of our super fun yarn, and maybe we should just quit dyeing yarn and keep all this for ourselves. <laughs> anyway, that was really stupid. stupid. <laughs> anyway, okay. I feel like I'm only saying like two thirds of my words. Like, I know it's like freaking me out. Like each word, I feel like I'm only saying like two thirds of it. I think I'm thirsty. Okay. Anyway, yeah, thank you again. I know I said thank you like 10 times, but really, you will only hear it once because I will cut it all out. <laughs> thank you, Tabby. <laughs> Sorry.